Yeah, hello and welcome to this video playing Eddie Marsala. Yeah, this is actually the guy that I played a draw against uh, earlier when... Uh, why does... Hmm, okay, this is a really, really questionable opening. For white, anyway, we're kind of used to that, I think, by now. Uh, anyway, that, that, that was the guy I played a draw against and I forgot to press the record button. That was really a shame because it was a... Um, a very uh, very sharp interesting game so here yeah white white is terrible on the dark squares absolutely terrible but uh, my position is still somewhat weakened so we'll see how this unfolds and I don't know the theory at all this is probably not helpful yeah, how do you play against those with the like e5 or something? I wonder if I should actually should have played like bishop h6 or so. He grabs that. Wow. That I wouldn't have thought. That wouldn't even have vaguely crossed my mind to take that pawn. But okay. So if I take here and then take d4, it's a real, real mess. Hmm. Yeah, he might, he might castle long or something. If I check here, there's always knight c3. Can also just castle. I, I'm not sure. I'm castling him. Probably will give up the second bishop. I mean, I'm threatening knight takes d4, and if yeah, so that was to be expected. So, queen b6, I was thinking putting more pressure on the pawn. I also have c5. Yeah, that's also pretty, pretty logical, opening up. And immediately getting rid of the, this pawn formation. If he takes on c5, bishop b2, knight d2, I'm not sure that I want to win the exchange here. I was thinking, I wanted to do this anyway. Okay, knight bd2, almost pre-moving, I guess. Okay, now I can think of taking this. Or, yeah, I mean, I think I'll take it. Mostly to have a passer. So let's see, rook c8, c4. By the way, this guy is extremely high rated, but I've got a 90% score against him. It's a bit bit of a weird thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm fighting against this knight. I have no pawn structure anymore, but the bishop pair. Something that you have quite often, yeah? You, manage to get the, the bishop pair, but you have to make some kind of compromise with the pawn structure. Yeah, here I was thinking, uh, I was intending rook b8, but mm, knight g5 huh? is a little bit, like takes takes knight g5 is a bit of an annoyance. I wonder if I should go h6 uh, simply. Let's do it so that I can move the queen. Like to c7, rook b8, b4. This would be the 
things crossing my mind. I wonder if he has some kind of e5 available to put a knight on d6. No. It's probably a useful move. Okay, now I play rook b8. Idea is also rook b4. It would be nice to get in. Break this control there. No, it just puts this. Ah, he wants to go knight f5. I see him. I see. Mm. So attacking a2, which he, which he covers. So and knight e7, knight c6. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's get out of checks. Yeah, it's not not quite clear to me what's going on here. Uh, two bishops against two knights is very nice, but it's still a fairly fairly messy kind of position. Um, I was even thinking f five, but knight knight to uh, h four is uh, annoying there. Don't know. Time warning. Yeah, rook b five or something. I have queen a three. Yeah, he might just take it. I mean, yeah, he just takes it. Idea is queen b1 or something. It's uh, okay. Now I can take this. He probably has some fantastic tactic in line, like knight f6 or something for rook h5. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm just taking this pawn and then see what happens. No fantastic, no tactic. That's good. Taking e4 here. You cannot move the d5 knight currently because of rook to d1. Yeah, this is some. Check. Oh, I cannot take there. Mm. I wanted to take. It doesn't work. Okay, then that was a stupid check then. I wanted to take on d5. Okay. And no, it's a blundering f7. Check. 
Oh, shit. Check. 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 <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that, was, that was close. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was close. Okay, so let's have a look at this and see. So let's see, I really have to look this opening up. I mean, it has the reputation of being really rotten for white. So I definitely did not uh, did, did not do well there. C3, I don't know what to do here. Queen to B6 is what the engine is suggesting. And I takes H4 is a shocking move, really, I think. Anyway, yeah, so this, this and knight takes, yeah, I thought about that, but I didn't quite, could make it work. I think he can, I thought he can take. Ah, I, no. <laughs> you know, I saw this line, Check. but what I did not see is I can take, Check. and after this, I'm winning the rook in the corner. So that was already winning for black. This is why knight takes h4 was, 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 was bad. I saw that, but I didn't see. Check. Check. I, I saw this, and then I, here I ended. I just ended my my, my line there, and I can Check. take here, and I'm just just probably a lot better. Yeah, winning is strong, but it's it's very close. So that that could have been could have been end of the game, and I'm losing I'm losing uh, the threat here somehow. Black is still in in good shape, of course. Rook b8, yeah, maybe this is better. And um, yeah, I rejected this this right off the bat to win the exchange because of my open king. But I mean, okay, the engine is of course fearless, but but uh, maybe I should have done it. Yeah, objectively speaking, it shouldn't work for white, but it's a blitz game, and I, I know how bad I am at defending those crappy positions. Yeah, here may, maybe the queen trade here yeah, was better, yeah. This is something that, that I also felt after the game, or not after the game, a couple of moves later, because I, I, I am in this danger of having a, a bad a bad king. Okay, c4 was good. It's, this is all about very, being very precise with, with calculation, and I wasn't. But, um, yeah, here he, he won this rook b8 is still good. Check. Yeah, here I wanted to take d5. I actually can do it. Okay. I was thinking it isn't possible. Check. But okay, rook d8, there's nothing special there. Check. Takes, takes, takes. I still have the a pawn. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah, now we, we just got a messy position. Yeah, it was a bit of a panic move. I don't know. King g8 is just uh, holding everything comfortably. Yeah, at the end, a uh, time scramble. Thanks for watching.